Thanks for all the prayers for me. Uh, my wife, as we were on vacation this past week, uh, we had a great time. I heard the service last Sunday. It was great that Don and Carol did an amazing job and that uh, everybody had a really uplifting service. And uh, to me, that's what church is about, isn't it? I mean, you're having an uplifting time with each other and lifting up praise to God. Any announcements I'm forgetting this morning? No? Okay, well, if not, then I will pass it over to James for uh, birthdays and anniversaries. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are there any birthdays this morning or this week or last week or last few months? All right, so it's Cindy's birthday. One of the many Cindy's we have in our church. Um, how about any other birthdays? All right, well, if not, let's go ahead and sing happy birthday.
would, let us turn to the other side of our uh, bulletin's uh, insert to our prayer list. And uh, would we have joys or concerns that we'd like to share this morning or updates on ones who are on our prayer list? Um, of course, do remember uh, Beth Beck and the uh, kids and their families in their prayers that Mike passed away last week. Um, would there be any others that we would like to remember this morning? I have a joy backslash concern. <laughs> the joy is James has finally made it to that portion of his life and is moving forward and will be moving into his dorm on Wednesday. The concern is Jessica has lost a lot of tears over this. <laughs> we, you know, it's an emotional change, but really it's, it's a big joy, I think, in our family that we're moving forward. Amen. Amen. Yes, we will all keep James in our prayers as he uh, embarks in this new world of college and higher education. Uh, it, it is quite a joy. It is hard to believe that that time has already come. Uh, I can remember him all those years ago where I had to sometimes direct his thoughts during children's moments. Um, yes, it, it, you have come a long way. Would there be any others this morning? Well, if not, let's go. Oh, yes, ma'am. Jimmy Babcock's last test showed that his cancer had not grown. So remember him in your prayers. Amen. Amen. It's good to hear when, when, when we hear good results. We'll continue to keep Tim in our prayers. Would there be any others this morning? Well, if not, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to give praise to you, to open our hearts to you to lift up all those who are there, all the situations, all the things that are yours. We place them in your hands, and we ask, Lord, that you would move. We do thank you for this day, Lord, and we thank you for the rain that has fallen in the last 24 hours. We give you praise and thanks. It has cooled the earth. It has watered our gardens, our fields, and our lawns. We give you thanks. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to pour your blessings down upon us like you did your reign. That you will continue to hold us in your love and in your hands. And that you would continue to bless and keep us. We pray especially for the ones we've mentioned this morning. We ask that you would be with them. We ask that you would be with the Mike Beck family. That you would be with that you would be with Beth, that you would be with Kyle and Emily and Haley, that you would be with their families and all those who are mourning Mike's passing. Hold them in your hands just as you are holding Mike. We thank you, Lord. Be with them. We thank you, Lord, for how you've been with Tim, and we ask that you continue to watch over him and take care of him. We thank you for reports of good news, and we just give you praise. Continue to hold him in your hands and help him to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for all that you've done and for all that you have brought him through in his life. We also give you praise, Lord, for James. We ask that you will go with him, that you will watch over him, that you will keep him squarely in your hands and in your love. We ask, Lord, that you will help him in his classes, that you will help him to be able to do his very best, and that you will help his understanding be complete. Be with him, take care of him, and watch over him. Continue to keep him in your love and in your grace. Be with all those who are in his classes with him, and be with those who are in his doors. Hold them in your love also. We pray, Lord, for all these others who are on our prayer list. We ask, Lord, that you would be with each of them, that you would be in every situation, that you would touch and, and move in lives. Help us, Lord, to see those ways that you do move. And help us to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for all the ways that we see you being you in your majesty. Helping us in your love. We pray, Lord, for our community. We thank you for it. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to keep your peace, your safety, security upon it. 
We ask that you will continue to keep it a safe place for our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. And we pray, Lord, that you would hold them in your hands every day of their lives. Allow them to know your grace, your love, and your blessings just as you have poured them out upon us. Hold them in your love. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to bless our neighbors. We thank you for it. We thank you for all the times that you allow us to be you to them. And we give you praise, Lord, for all the times that they are you to us. We thank you for our leaders. We ask, Lord, that you would touch their hearts, that you would warm them, turn them to you, that you would give them your strength, your courage, your faithfulness, and that you would help them to be good leaders for us. That you would help them to see ways to make life good for us and continue to keep this land in your peace, your safety, and your security. Continue to bless all those, Lord, who are defending our freedoms, those who are serving in our military. We ask, Lord, that you would be with them, that you would continue to surround them with your shield of strength and protection, and that you would help them to carry out the many difficult tasks that they are called to perform, and that you would bring them home safely to us. We pray, Lord, that you will keep them and their comrades in your hands and in your love. We also pray, Lord, for those who do not come home safely. To those who are injured, we ask you to give your healing both in body and in spirit, and that you would allow them to return to the lives and loved ones that they had left behind. And to those who do not come home, Lord, we ask you would pour your comfort, your grace, and your peace out upon their families, and that you would help them to know that you are holding them and those they love in your hands. Pour your grace out upon them, Lord. We pray, Lord, for those in the nursing home. We ask that you would be with them, that you would watch over them and care for them, that you would make their days good, and that you would put your joy upon their hearts. We ask, Lord, that you would be with those who take care of them and those who visit them, and that you would allow their hearts to be filled with your joy in such a way that joy and laughter fill the halls. Be with them. We pray, Lord, for our church. We ask, Lord, that you would continue to help us to be a light in this dark world, that you would continue to help us to reach out to those around us. Help us to find ways to share your love and to share your blessings with those around us and continue to keep our place in your church and in your love. We pray all these things in your Son Jesus' holy name, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. If you would, join me with our next hymn, which can be found on page number 512, Stand
may be seated. And now, if you would, join me in doing our responsive reading, Psalm 46, which can be found on page number 780. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. saw four chariots coming out from between two mountains, mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses, the second chariot black horses, the third chariot white horses, and the fourth chariot dappled gray horses. Then I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these, my lord? The angel answered me, These are the four winds of heaven going out. After presenting themselves before the Lord of all the earth, the chariot with the black horses goes toward the north country, the white ones go toward the west country, and the dappled ones go toward the south country. When the steeds came out, they were impatient to get off and patrol the earth. And he said, Go, patrol the earth. So they patrolled the earth. Then he cried out to me, Lo, those who go toward the north country have set my spirit at rest in the north country. Our New Testament reading is Matthew chapter 24, verses 3 through 8. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will this be, and what will be the sign of your coming, and of the end of the age? Jesus answered them, Beware that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All this is but the beginning of the birth pangs. And our final reading, the epistle reading, is Revelation 6, verses 1 through 4. Then I saw the Lamb open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures. 
creatures call out, as with a voice of thunder, Come! I looked, and there was a white horse. Its rider had a bow, a crown was given to him, and he came out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature call out, Come! And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth, so the people would slaughter one another, and he was given a great sword. God's word for God's people. We're getting into the really, really uh, starting to be scary parts of Revelation. God pouring his wrath out upon the world. We've seen the Lamb. We've seen all the wondrous things. And now the scenes start to shift from heaven towards earth. Instead of coming up from earth to see what was going on in heaven, everything that happens in heaven now happens down on earth. We finally made it to the horsemen. We're going to look at the first two this week, as you can probably tell, the white and the red. Zacharias' vision. It goes on, and it talks about the destruction of Babylon and all the things that God was letting loose to deal about his vengeance upon Babylon, upon Egypt, and upon all the nations who had oppressed God's people. Zacharias 6 says, these are going forth to the four winds of heaven after presenting themselves before the Lord of all the earth. The horses stand for the four mighty winds which God is about to let loose on the earth and the blast of destruction. That's what wind can do, can it? It can be a really nice, calming, peaceful thing like yesterday's rain was, right? Yesterday's rain was so peaceful, so moving, you know, it just cooled everything, made things feel fresh and alive, took all that dust away that had been gathering for weeks, it was wonderful. But we also know what summer storms can also be like. They aren't so wonderful sometimes, are they? They are such strong winds that uproot trees, that overturn houses, that leave these horrible swatches of destruction. 